This is something of a mishmash, but that's the way I cook generally day to day. It is couscous with beans and tomato. So I've got some couscous, I just measured it out, and cumin seeds. I've toasted these, I just did it a bit earlier, to get the full fragrance. Salt, clementine. I'm gonna get the zest, my easy peeler, in the couscous now. I'm meant to steam couscous, but I just cook it by steeping it in water from a freshly boiled kettle. I shall just cover this. Just going to heat some oil. And while that warms up, since I've already zested my clementine, I am going to juice it and add it to some water I have here in a little jug. I've got some red onions. I cut them in half an inch slice thinly. Add some salt to these. What the salt does when you add it to onions is it slightly makes some liquid come out of them, which helps them not burn when they're in the oil. It's easy to be wasteful with herbs, using the leaves and throwing away the stalks, but it's the stalks that give you so much fabulous flavour as well. And now, more of the toasted cumin seeds. Grated, minced, crushed, whatever you want to do. Garlic. And here I am again with my Cardo chilli flakes. I've got some of my clementine and water here. So a bit of it goes in now. This will just help the onions get a bit jammy. Avocado cherry tomatoes half. So although I'm stirring them, I'm trying to do it not too uh, brutally. I don't want to actually squish these little tomato halves too much. Black beans, I've drained them obviously. I usually make this sort of thing, but with chickpeas. And I ran out of chickpeas one day and only had these and used them instead. And I so love it now that I go for this first time. So in cooking, often it's either mistakes or just what you have to do because that's all you have in the cupboard that make a recipe something special. And for me, this really is a really great kind of midweek feast pretty low effort. Just need the beans to be piping hot. A bit of salt on them. Go with the rest of my orange and clementine juice. And before it bubbles away, I'm going to take this off the heat while I get my couscous in order. I find you have really to use a fork or preferably a pair of forks. Because often with the spoon, it just makes it sort of stick together more. So the couscous is sweet, and as are the red onions, and the, the black beans are wonderfully earthy, and salty feta on top. And my final flourish, some of the chopped leaves of the coriander, perfect with it. This makes me very happy. And you can get this recipe exclusively on Ocado.com.